Today I've got a short lesson for you on how to use the right kind of language to score a 7 or higher in the speaking test. So we're not going to talk about this in any kind of general terms, we're actually going to focus on one particular word. That's it, one particular word, that's a great word if you want to get a 7 or higher. And the word is get. Yep, you heard me correctly, it is get. Now you might be thinking, well, I already know this word, it's really easy, like miss, don't you know, I need a really high score in the speaking test, so this is gonna be a waste of my time. And if you think that, then you probably don't understand exactly what idiomatic means. So in the band descriptors, uh, for the vocabulary score to get a seven, something you absolutely have to do is show the examiner that you know some idiomatic language. Idiomatic does not mean idioms. It's a really common misconception. Please don't use idioms. Please don't waste your time studying idioms. It will lead to mistakes and it will not increase your score. Idiomatic language simply means expressing things naturally the way a native speaker would say it. And native speakers use get all the time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at get. I'm going to show you some of the different meanings and uses of the word. Some you might know, some you might not. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas for how you can practice using get and other words like get so that you can show the examiner that you have idiomatic language and you can increase your speaking score. And then there'll be another little task at the end for you to complete and it'll, it'll you know, give you a chance to compare your answers with other students' answers as well. So let's take a look now really in depth at the word get. So now let's take a really close look at the word get. I've got 12 different meanings of, of the word here. I'm going to go through each one of them. And I'm going to give you some examples, but what I really want you to do is I want you to think about whether or not you were aware of this meaning of get. And then also, really importantly, whether or not you ever use it to express these particular ideas. So we'll start at the top here with obtain or buy. So let's say that in the morning I have milk in my tea and I finish the milk. So now I'm at work and I'm going to come home. So I need to buy some milk on my way home. But I probably wouldn't say I need to buy some milk. What I would say is I need to get some milk. I need to get some milk on my way home. This is the most natural way of expressing this idea. So when you think about your own use of English, would you ever use get to express this kind of idea or would you always use buy? I need to buy some milk, or would you ever say, I need to get some milk? If you can use get instead of buy, use get instead of buy. Why? Because it's more idiomatic. Idiomatic language will increase your vocabulary score in the speaking test. Bring. Now, bring and get do have different meanings, but there is a meaning of bring that means get. So for uh, example, <laughs> um, I, let's say we went to the mall, right? We went to the mall, we went shopping and it's raining outside. So I don't want to walk to the car from, from the mall because I'm going to get wet. So my husband is very nice. And what he would say to me is, wait here while I get the car. He would never say, wait here while I bring the car. That's what it means, but he would never say that. He would say, wait here while I get the car. Receive. So think about birthday presents, right? Mm, so how would you use get if you're talking about receiving a present? Well, you might say, I got a new phone for my birthday. Understand uh, this one, I think that everybody probably knows, right? Um, so you could say to somebody, I don't know why you are laughing. I don't get the joke. I mean, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get the joke. So you can get a joke. You can also just get someone. I don't get you, right? I don't understand you. I don't get you. Um, teachers might ask this of their students. Do you get it? Do you understand it? So yes, get means understand, but I just told you a couple more examples that you might not have been aware of, like getting a joke, getting someone. So yes, there are 12 sort of meanings of get here, but there's lots of different ways to use it. 
move somewhere. Move somewhere. Okay, let's let's say that mom is, uh, you know, mom is downtown and she's got her kids and, you know, she's got some young kids with her. And one of the kids is uh, starts running towards the busy road. Now, what is mom going to shout at the kid? <laughs> Mom's going to shout, get back here or get over here, which means to move. Move where? Next to mom. So you can move somewhere, but you can also move something somewhere. So let's say I'm, 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 I'm coming home. I've, I've, Done, done the grocery shopping so my arm my, my hands are full I've got you know bags of groceries and in, in both hands and I come to my front door and you know my keys are in my pocket or my keys are in my purse and I, I can't get them because my hands are full so if I have somebody with me I might say can you get my keys out of my bag so that's moving something the keys somewhere out of the bag so can you get my keys out of the bag so that's the moving something somewhere. You can also arrive somewhere. I think everybody is probably familiar with this as well. So think about, you know, what time do you get home from work? But you know, when, when I do mock speaking tests with our VIP students, so many times I, I hear students talk about arriving, like what time they arrive at work, what time they arrive home. It's not wrong, but it's not idiomatic. Saying get is idiomatic. This is going to increase your score. If you say, I get to work, I like to get to work early, I usually get home at around seven. This is exactly the kind of language that the examiner is looking for. Make somebody or something do something. <laughs> Let's do make somebody do something. So let's say that my kitchen tap is is leaking. So the water keeps on going drip, 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 drip. Um, maybe some of you can fix your own kitchen tap. I cannot fix my own. So I have to get a plumber to fix it. I need to get a plumber to fix it. You can also make something, do something, uh, like um, close a window. Let's say the window is stuck. I couldn't get the window to close. I, I couldn't make the window close. I couldn't get the window to close. You can have the opportunity to do something. Have any of you um, ever flown first class, right? Uh, when I went on my honeymoon, I got to fly first class. So that's the opportunity to do something. When you get in the car with your family, who gets to sit in the front seat? Right? Who gets to sit in the front seat? You can become. Now, there's lots of different things you can become. Uh, you can get sick. You can get rich. You can get wet. Uh, or you can get married. There's loads of different things that you can become. To travel somewhere. So how do you get to work? Right? Do you get the bus? Do you get the train? Do you walk? So what else can you get? You can get a bus. So this is what you need to know if you're going to use the word properly. What can you get? It's talking about traveling. Okay, so you can get the bus, you can get a train. Can you get a taxi? Yes. Can you get an airplane? No, <laughs> no, you would never get a plane, but you would get a bus, you get a train, or you could get a taxi. Answer the phone or answer the door. So if, if I'm if I'm busy and Amazon comes to deliver a package and they ring they ring the, the doorbell and it goes ding dong, I will shout to someone else um, at home. So if, if it's my husband, he's at home, I will say, can you get the door? I don't think I would ever say, can you answer the door? pretty sure I would never say that. I would always say, can you get the door? Same for if you've got a phone in your house, like not a mobile phone, but you know, the, the phones are connected to, to the wall, the old fashioned kind of phones. If that's ringing, right? 
and you know mom's mom's busy in the kitchen mom will shout at one of her kids can someone get the phone so to get the phone is, is to answer the phone so there we've gone through a couple different meanings of get and you are going to be able to apply this information with the task that i am going to set you so now that we have studied the word get a little bit, I want to give you uh, some ideas for how you can practice. So what I want you to do is I want you to go online and find a blog written by a native speaker on a, any topic, any topic that you're interested in um, and read it. But the important thing is that you read something where the writer is using informal language. Then what I want you to do is I want you to get a piece of paper or if you have a vocabulary notebook, use your vocabulary notebook and write down every time you see the writer use get and think about what the writer means when they use get in that instance. And then when you're done, you can do the same thing for make and have and do. These are other de-lexical verbs. These verbs that have like you know, 10, 20 different meanings and uses, these words that show the examiner that you have some awareness of idiomatic language, which is exactly what the examiner is looking for. The mistake that most students make is they use, you know, the word that you find if you think of a verb in your own language and you check the dictionary, right? And this is not actually the way native speakers speak. So do make, have, get. These are great words uh, if you are aiming for a band seven or higher in the speaking test. So that's what you can do on your own in a way that you can work on improving your vocabulary every single day by yourself. Now here's what I want you to do now and I want you to post your answers down below. I'm going to ask you three questions and I just want you to give me a, you know, a one or two sentence answer to both of them and in each answer I want you to use the word get. Okay, so the first one is, uh, tell me three things about your daily routine. The second is, so number two is, uh, tell me about something that made you frustrated. And number three, tell me about one of your hopes for the future. So that's it, those three questions. Post your answers down below, compare your answers with other students' answers. Um, if you think another student made a mistake, that's great practice. If you can spot the mistake and you know how to fix it, you can of course give each other feedback as well uh, in, in the comments. And it's a great way to help each other learn and help each other improve uh, your vocabulary. Only nice comments though, guys. <laughs> We're all trying to help each other here. So if you found this useful and you would like more help improving and increasing your IELTS scores, then remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right, bye-bye.